So Minnesota made some moves today. Well, they made one move announcing coaching moves that we already knew of. Um, but yeah, Greg Joseph, uh, they signed him. He is a kicker. He is 26, so he's a young kicker. He has spent time with Miami, Cleveland, Carolina, Tennessee, and Tampa Bay. Only kicking for Cleveland and Tennessee in any kind of real, you know, kicking role. Uh, With Miami, he was a rookie coming out as an undrafted free agent. He was there for the preseason, got cut. Cleveland picked him up. He was their kicker for a year in 2018. Then he was on Carolina's practice squad, and then Tennessee, he kicked a little bit for them, and then finished on Tampa Bay's practice squad. Now, in 2018, though, when he, you know, actually got to kick, (laughs) um, it actually wasn't too horrible. Um, He made uh, all four of his kicks between 20 and 29 yards, all seven from 30 to 39 5 of 7 between 40 and 49, and made 1 of his 2 in the 50-plus margin. So 17 of 20 for an 85%. Where you look at the 86.2 extra point percentage, and you might say that could be the bigger problem here. Uh, He went 25 of 29, so that could be it. But he did uh, kick a little bit in 2019. He did not kick it all in 2020. 2019... Uh, for uh, Tennessee, he went 9 for 9 on the extra points in the regular season, so he made all of those. And in the playoffs in 2019, he hit his only field goal of 30 yards and then had another 9 extra points that he all made. So extra points, at least for the time being, look like he's on an upward trend as he's made um, you know, all 18 of his last extra points so that could be an upward trend with the extra pointage there and he's only 26 so young guy could come in who knows and then let's just you know gotta compare him to dan bailey now uh well what he did in 2020 anyway to show why they did this if anyone's questioning if you saw tampa bay you're probably not questioning but Dan Bailey went 15 of 22 in his field goal, 68.2%. Um, and his extra point percentage was 86. So Greg Joseph's low and extra point percentage was 86.2. So 85% versus 68.2% with a very basically the same extra point production at, lo- at worst. <laughs> is what they're probably thinking if you were to look at just the numbers. Um, But if you want to go a little bit further, um, if you want to go what I think is probably the majority of this, um, Joseph and Dan Bailey, just a field goal is between 20 and 49. Uh, Dan, last year, 13 of 17, 76.5%. Joseph, in 2018, when he was actually the full-time kicker for the Cleveland Browns, He went 16 of 17 for 94.1%, which is a massive difference, especially since they had the same amount of kicks. So Joseph made three more kicks in that same range. So with the same amount of kicks, not bad. Now, the weird part about this is they did guarantee a portion of Greg Joseph's salary. So that already shows they think of him more than just, you know, some camp leg to kick around there so they don't wear out Dan Bailey's leg. This is a guy they plan to at least compete. However, I think it probably makes more sense just to cut bait with Dan Bailey right now. Because Dan Bailey has a $1.8 million of his uh, $2.7 million, like his base salary of two point seven, million, guarantee on March 19th. So... With a little bit of cap issues going on right now in Minnesota, it probably makes more sense just to cut Dan Bailey right now and roll with Greg Joseph. And since they already guaranteed a portion of their salary for Greg Joseph, I would think this is a decision that's basically already been made that I'm really not sure about. But whatever one they decided, whether he's competing or they just give it to Greg Joseph at this point, I personally would just give it to Joseph, just because of what the financial 
you could gain a little bit more. And if you can gain a little bit more, and then the worst case scenario, your kicker still isn't, you know, ideal. It's like, because he's already, you know, at 68.2%, not very good. He had a really good season in 2019. But remember, he did kick at like 75% in 2018, the first year he was in Minnesota. So, two out of three years, even though one of them was really, really good, two, not good at all. So... Yeah, that's where I fall on that. I would like to know your guys' comments down below. Uh, like and subscribing certainly helps. And uh, until next time, I bid you all adieu.